Hello, Coach Dad here, and welcome to another chess tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you how to checkmate your opponent in four moves. You might be a beginner chess player learning how to play chess, and you just recently learned what a checkmate is. So you, maybe you want to try to perform the four move checkmate, or what we call the scholar's mate, on your opponent. As a fair warning, the scholar's mate or four move checkmate is not great against experienced players or intermediate players. So just a fair warning that this does build up really bad habits but it's just good for something to know something for you to be able to avoid in your future games in order to initiate the four move checkmate or the scholars mate you have to be able to play as white you have to be able to go first and a couple of moves have to have been made by your opponents in order for this to happen your opponent cannot play certain type of moves that would stop you from performing the four move checkmate first you'll play pawn to e4 and your opponent might play something to stop your pawn from moving up to e5. Next, you can play your bishop. And the most important thing is that we're always attacking this f7 square. If your opponent does not defend this f7 square, then you have a great opportunity for an attack in the future. So your opponent might play something like move the knight to c6 in order to protect the pawn right here without knowing what you're doing. Okay, so you're continuing to attack the f7 square. After your opponent has played any other type of move, uh, something similar to knight to c6, you're going to then play queen to f3. Now you see this queen is attacking this f7 square along with this bishop attacking this f7 square. Your opponent may neglect this move and may not be thinking, okay, why did the queen come out so early or why did it move right there? Your opponent might play something like d6 in order to protect this pawn some fur further. And lastly, you can just play queen takes f7 and it's checkmate the king cannot run to these two squares because the queen is cutting off this these squares right here and the king cannot capture the queen because the bishop is guarding this queen there are no other pieces within black right now in order to capture this queen to stop this checkmate but it's a really great way to have a nice four move checkmate if you're playing as black and you see your opponent make this move right here moving the queen out so early and forgetting to develop their minor pieces and eventually try and find a way to castle you know that, that potentially this is a red flag potentially that this is an opportunity for you to be able to stop this four move checkmate right here you see that your f7 square is vulnerable and i can show you one what one easy way of stopping or really preventing the four move checkmate is by simply moving your knight to f6 because what this does is that this knight would then be blocking this square right here on f7 for the queen to be able to navigate their way to come up here the queen is going to try maybe come around but this knight is already covering the square so this knight is really really great right here so you want to be very very cautious and really really careful when your opponent brings out their queen too early there may be opportunities that you may be able to bully or harass the queen so that way you can try to get all your pieces out developed as well as being able to push their queen all over around the board so that way it gives you the tempo back to develop your pieces I hope that you enjoyed this lesson on performing the scholar's mate or the four move checkmate. This was one of the first checkmates that I learned when I was in sixth grade playing chess. I remember I was playing in the hallway uh, during class uh, with another student and I'd done the four move checkmate or the scholar's mate on him probably about 11 times. And as, as kids playing chess, it was just very really hard for him to really understand how to really counter it. And, and sometimes it made me feel pretty bad, um, but again, the four move checkmate it's good against beginner players but at the same time if this is what you will rely on for your attacks it does build up bad habits because generally you want to be able to develop your minor pieces out first the whole army and then having the queen come and support those pieces and there are opportunities for the queen to come out early whenever it needs to attack early but Again, just use the four move checkmate up to your uh, discretion. Know that experience and intermediate players are going to catch on to this really fast. So this is not uh, the, the move that you probably want to play against them. But it's really nice for you to counter against them. So as long as you know what a four move checkmate is, you yourself know how to stop it. Protect, protect, protect the F7 square. That's going to be re really, really crucial for you if you are going to counter this. 
I appreciate you all for coming by and watching this video. Thank you very much. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and you have a great day.